Thank you, Josie, for that excellent introduction. And uh, thank you, everyone, for coming. And uh, sorry for those who have missed this wonderful talk. Today, I want to talk about how your business and the businesses of people that you know can make more money while doing less work. So this talk is not about the ifs, buts, and maybes. In, in IT servicing, there's all kinds of ifs, buts, and maybes. You know, What if you lost all your business data? Well, that would be a big disaster. What if it happened? What's the chance of it happening? We don't know. It's an if, but, maybe kind of situation. What if you were caught by ransomware? Um, we've talked about ransomware in the past. It encrypts all your files. So they're still there, but you can't access them unless you pay the ransom. It's all a big drama. What if that happens? If, buts, and maybes, who knows? Very hard to quantify that in dollar terms in your business. So we don't know what they might cost you, but we do know how to prevent them. And what if that prevention actually put money in your pocket, as well as preventing those if, buts, and maybes? So I thought we'd look at an uh, a, uh, invented business, a small business of five people here in Ipswich working away. As you can see in the photo, there's only four people because one of them's sick. It happens a bit. Um, but uh, this small business, we look after them and we do many things for that business. And, and how do we put money back in that business owner's pocket? So the first way we do that is that we sell them really good computers. Um, Square Trade estimate that the failure rate of PCs can be as high as 20%, which means in that business, computers are going to fail if they don't have the good quality gear. And we've uh, done some math and we worked out that PC failures on average will cost that business in lost productivity about 250 bucks. So just by selling them good quality computers, we put 250 bucks into that business owner's pocket straight away. The next thing we do is we have a look at their phone system. And in many businesses, they have old school phone systems that have been there for a while possibly got caught by the deal where they give you a free plasma TV if you sign up for this expensive phone system. And where possible, we change them over to an innovative new modern phone system, which uh, apart from giving them all kinds of great features and benefits and making their business more efficient, usually saves them on average about $200 a month off their phone bills. So that's another 200 bucks that we put back in their pocket um, just by looking at their phone technology. So then, um, small businesses of this size usually have one or two printers. They don't have big photocopiers like Paul sells, um, but they usually have cheap little brothers, brother printers, I call them O Brother, because they are so much fun to work with. Um, and quite often those printers are costing them a lot of money, but they don't see it. So we do a cost comparison, get them a quality uh, printer um, that actually does prints faster and prints better and prints more options on different paper, all of those intangible things we can't value. But on average, uh, the quality printer will save that business about $230 a month just in consumable costs. So that's another 230 bucks back in their pocket. So this is not the lucky door prize. I knew that joke was coming. That's why I have this. So. The next thing we do is we have a look at their uh, various technologies. And there's this great thing from Microsoft, been around for a number of years, called Office 365. I talk about it a lot with most of my clients because it has all these great intangible benefits about making your email work really good and sharing calendars and all this great stuff, which you can't really put a dollar figure on. But what it also does is it lowers the cost of your software license. Every business that we work with, and any business with five or more people, is going to need Microsoft Office. And Microsoft Office is a lot cheaper if you get it through this subscription service than if you buy it outright. And so over the course of a few years, Office 365 will save a business with five computers $1,122. So, so that's pretty good, right? That's a fair bit of money saved. Business owner's pretty stoked, life is good. But let's think about productivity, which we haven't talked about yet. We've talked about very specific services and specific savings. <laughs> let's think about how much time a business with five people spends screwing around with you know, computer glitches and weird things and questions and, and trying to figure it out. Let's think about 
uh, how much time they spend installing new equipment. That cheap printer that they bought also needed to be bought from the shop, brought to the office, unpacked, plugged in, connected, drivers installed, settings configured. All of that takes time and all of that time costs that business money. Imagine uh, how much time in a small business people spend uh, with Professor Google asking the sagely advice to get the answers to their questions and sometimes they get the right answer and they get their problem fixed and sometimes they get the wrong answer and spend another three hours trying to fix the problems they just created. And how much time do we waste dealing with other suppliers? I was just talking to a business owner this morning, Graham, about uh, the fun and joy of dealing with Telstra. Uh, many of us have to do with Telstra, Optus, all kinds of other businesses that really aren't geared up to look after you. And all of that time you spend on the phone costs you money. So how much time do we waste doing a hundred other things that aren't our core business, that aren't putting money in our pocket and making our business highly successful and profitable and uh, ongoing success? Well, studies have shown that on average, everybody, you, me, everybody, lose four and a half minutes an hour in productivity due to all kinds of computer shenanigans, all of those things that I've just covered and more. Um, and we at Shift Computer Solutions take care of all of that stuff for you. You don't do any of that stuff anymore. And if you add it up and work it out and calculate it out, that saves the average business quite a lot of money. In fact, in our uh, pretend five-person small business, it saves them $3,515. So, in conclusion, if we can recap, quality computers, smart software licensing, innovative telephony solutions, quality print solutions for small businesses, and massive productivity gains in your business, our average five-person business is $3,984 a month better off. That's a whole other employee that they could potentially employ. They could employ a sales manager to go out and sell more stuff or a new technician or whatever it is in their business that they need. How do you get in on this action? Well, you call my office, 3814 nice and easy number to remember, or you email sales at shiftsolutions.com.au and you say, I would like $3,000, please, Matt, please get it for me now. And I will come out to your business uh, and I will, uh, sorry, premature. And I, will, and I will do a bit of a, a talk through with your business, look at all of the different things that you know are wrong in your business, but also all the things that you don't know are wrong in your business, and put a plan together to revolutionise all of that and put some money back in your pocket.